Welcome everyone, I'm Ricky from Tech Talk and we have a dual unboxing today of the Google Pixel 3a and the Google Pixel 3a XL. So a massive thank you to Google who supplied these to the channel. So these were first launched around May time and they sit alongside now the Google Pixel 3 and 3 XL, so a good range of devices. We're going to see what differences there are between both of these devices here today. So first of all, the Pixel 3a here in the UK starts at £399 and the 3a XL starts at £469. So let's start with a 3A, shall we? Around the side, you've just got Google. So down here at the bottom, we just have a bit more information. So you've got a screen size of 5.6 inches, 64 gigabytes internal storage, and then the color, which is just black here. And then you've got the model number. So on the edge here, you have a side profile. And on the back here, you've just got another image of the device and the hashtag Team Pixel and Google. So there's a little bit of tape here just to pull along. That will actually release our device here. So the Pixel 3A X XL is exactly the same, slightly larger here. So taking a look at the bottom of the Pixel 3 XL here, the screen size is 6.0 and 64 gigabytes internal, and the color is called clearly white. And again, on the back here, you just have an image and you have the hashtag Team Pixel. So turning around, let's do a dual unboxing. So take both these off. So on top are your devices. So very similar, you're gonna get exactly the same here, so that's why I'm doing it dual. So underneath, you're gonna get your literature. So the literature is gonna be exactly the same. The first one is your SIM tool, and you've got your user guide, and then you've got Google sticker, and then hashtag Team Pixel, and then we've got safety and warranty information. So underneath, first of all, you have your USB-C to USB-C cable for syncing and charging your device. It offers 18 watts of fast charging, which is really good. The Pixel 3a has a 3,000 millionth hour battery. The 3a XL has a 3,700 millionth hour battery. Also inside here, you're gonna find a handy tool to transfer data and information. Then under here, we will just have your power brick, and like I said, 18 watts of power delivery and finally you've got your uk three pin power brick here with that pop-up third pin so be careful with that as it is made of plastic and it is a usb-c connection here so that's what's in the box let's move this out of the way and jump into our devices so moving on to our phones first of all let's take a look at the pixel 3a here so you've got a little tab just to pull off your cover in here You get this nice effect of this sound now. I know you all like to hear that sound. So here is the Google Pixel 3a with that just black color. It looks really nice there. So you've got a matte and a glossy finish on the back of that device. Taking a look at the 3a XL here. Again, let's turn this around and that's clearly white. Again, offering a matte finish and a glossy finish at the top, and a very bright orange power button there. For me, being visually impaired, that is awesome to see. I can see that straight away where my power button is. So that's a really good thing from Google. So on the back here, you can see the cameras, you've got the flash, you've got fingerprint sensor, and the Google Pixel logo, which is really cool. Taking a look at the bottom of our devices, they're gonna be exactly sort of the same. The specs are very similar throughout. It's just a couple of key things that have changed in the battery and the screen size. So you've got your USB connection here and then microphone and speakers down here at the bottom it does offer dual stereo speakers as well which is really cool it's a really good option so turning around let's power both of them on I'm not going to go through the setup of both I will only set up on the Google Pixel 3a XL because it's easier for me to see but we will set up both as I do want to test out both of these devices and see how well they perform so while these are just setting up I want to send a massive thank you to Google who sent out both of these devices for me to take a look at on the channel the link will be in the description to a whole range of different UK sellers here in the UK. The Pixel 3a starts around £399 and the 3a XL is about £469. But the links will be in the description and also to the Google store where you can go and check these out for yourself and all the information I have already gone through. So moving into the setup process and one thing I've just noticed there is the vision settings is actually flashing at you and letting you know it's there. That is 
Awesome. As you know, I'm really key about accessibility settings on all of our devices. So before we begin, let's go into here and see what options Google has added for this. So to start off with, we've got magnification, you've got font size, you have display size, select to speak and talk back. So that's a great range of the key options you really need to get into actually using your device from the get go. So I'm going to go large text, making it easier for me to read and it gives us a preview here. Coming back, we can then go into display size and I can change this slightly and it makes that display size a little bit bigger. It gives me presets that I can go through and scroll through here to see what the differences are. You can also make these smaller if you want to. So coming back, it's got like a haptic touch sort of vibrate through the device before we begin, which is nice. I like to know that something is there. So hi there. Let's get started. So connect to a mobile network. We're actually gonna skip for this because then we can connect to a Wi-Fi network. So select the Wi-Fi network, which is yours. Your keyboard will come up very nice here, very different contrast, very easy to see. And then go through and insert your password. Once that's done, it's gonna check for any updates and that's either on the app side and also the software side of the device. That's what I was just doing. Just turn around again and have a look at the camera here. Nice clearly white, I'm not gonna keep it clearly white, I will say that, I need to put a case on it straight away. And I'm really impressed with this different colored power button here. Again, taking a quick look at the 3A while that's just setting up, looks really smart, really smooth. There is a little bit of a textual differences here between the two buttons, whereas this one is black, but there is a textual difference. Again, it looks a really nice finish here with that nice glossy finish at the top and a nice matte finish at the bottom. So it seems our device is ready to go. So copy apps and data. So you can copy over apps and data. And that's what I was talking about, the connection and the cable that's provided in the box. So I'm not gonna do that at the moment. We're gonna set up as a new device because I want to use these devices as the manufacturers wanted us to use them. So what I am gonna do is sign in with my Google account and use all the services that Google offer. And if you don't have an account, you can then create one you'll need one as well to buy your apps, games, movies, TV shows, books, whatever you need to buy, you will need a Google account for the Google Play Store. So it says, hi, Ricky here. And again, we're gonna to agree to some services. Again, just check in for any updates now because we signed into our Google account. So Google services here, what services would we like to use? The only one I take off is the backup one, but the rest I keep on so I get to use the best possible services that Google offer. So now we move on to security and it says here, unlock with pixel imprint. Use your fingerprint here to unlock your phone or approve purchases. It does say here though, a strong pattern or pin may be more secure than your fingerprint. So it's the first time I've seen that here. So it is recommending that we choose a pin. So then it's telling us to turn around find our sensor, which is, seems to be in an ideal place. For me anyway, I can definitely stretch my hand there. So simply raise your finger up and down. You will get a strong vibration if you get it wrong and it will give you a red text. There we go, it's all done. You could have added another fingerprint if you so want to. So we're gonna continue our setup here to get it fully updated and fully on the go. So access your assistant with voice match and it's gonna use the voice match it should have on file. So my assistant can already recognize my voice and then you're all set. So squeeze for assistant. So you squeeze your device down here at the bottom. So that's sensitivity at the bottom there you can squeeze for, and you can change and adjust this here. So finish up or keep adjusting, so it's up to you. So always on display, I like to have an always on display. That means we get to see our notifications in a time as well, which is really helpful. I'm gonna turn on here. So anything else, you can add another email account. You can add other fingerprint. You can change font size again, Good plus to see an accessibility option there. You can change the wallpaper, control information that's shown on the lock screen, and you can identify music around you. Also, finally here at the bottom, you can review additional apps. I'm gonna say no thank you as we want to get into our Pixel. So one last tip is saying about staying updated with all the latest news and information from Google. I like to do that anyway. There we go, we're finished up and we're ready to go. So coming along to the left-hand side here, you've got your Google information. So you can tap to go home or you do have a back button there. So pulling up, we're gonna see all of our applications. Obviously you're gonna use the Google Play Store to add more applications here. So what I'm gonna do now is quickly set up this device and I'll come back when that's done. So with both the Pixel 3a and 3 
X3e XL both set up now and ready to go. So they're both running Android 9 and it's the purest version of Android you're ever going to get because it is from Google. Both these devices will get a push to Android Q a lot quicker than any other device as they are from Google. I will try and ask if I can have Android Q on one of these devices, a beta version, to take a look at, test and review during my review period because it may have some enhancements for the device. So the gesture control system is very easy and very simple. So you can either swipe all the way up and that will get you your applications here or you can just swipe up hold a little bit and then you'll get your open applications and you can dismiss these one by one so that's really good and nice to know also you will have a back button when in an application here so if we go into the google play store here we have a back button option there that you can press and come home so this is the 3a option here you can swipe up again you press that back button to go very similar different in aspects of the screen sizes so 5.6 inches to 6 inches in display here battery size 3000 compared to 3700 on the Pixel 3a XL. Let's go through them individually and actually show you. So taking a look at the Google Pixel 3a first of all, the display size is 5.6 inches and remember that's always measured corner to corner. It's a GOLED panel and it's full HD plus with a resolution of 2220 by 1080. That's going to give us a pixel density of 441 which is really quite high. It has a screen Screen ratio of 18 by 5 by 9. The screen itself is made from Dragon Trail. It offers thinness and then protects from accidental bumps, knocks and potential drops. So that's really good to know on here. So both of these devices offer an always on display and I like this here. You will have app notifications here, little badges. You've got your time and you've got the date and you've got the weather which is really helpful. One quick press that fingerprint sensor, it will unlock and you're ready to go. So it has 64 gigabytes of onboard storage like I said the battery 3000 minute hour so up to seven hours of on-the-go movement from just 15 minutes of charge which is really impressive and like I said the color is just black so taking a look at the pixel 3a XL now so the screen size as you'll notice is slightly different this is a six inch panel so again corner to corner it's a full HD plus offering a GOLED panel inside the resolution for this one is 2160 by 1080p this drops the pixel density down a little a bit to 402. It's a 18 by 9 aspect ratio. The screen inside this display is the Dragon Tail. This device also has the always on display, again giving you app badges here, the time, the date and all of your information. Quick tap that fingerprint sensor again and you're unlocked and you're ready to go, which is really good. This device, 64 gigabytes of internal storage, 3,700 minute hour battery. Again, that quick charge up time from just 15 minutes, seven hours on the go. So that's really helpful. And the color is clearly white, which I prefer this version because of that bright orange power button there. So a bit more information about both these devices and both these devices have all of the following. So the only key difference is, is a slight difference in the pixel density and the screen resolution and the battery. All of these features that I'm now gonna talk about, both models have the 3A and the 3A XL. So both of them have four gigabytes of RAM with that 64 gigabyte internal option. They will have a 100,000 to one super contrast ratio. I have put the dark theme on this as well. You can have a dark theme on this, making it easier for you to read. And if you notice, if I pull down on this one here, it's actually the whiter option on the background. So you can have two different options. You have true black levels, so it tries to offer you the best possible black levels it can. And as it is an OLED panel, that's actually quite easy to do. When it comes to power and performance, the CPU is a Qualcomm Snapdragon 670 processor, which is a quad core processor, offering you speeds of two gigahertz and 1.7 gigahertz. The GPU is an Adrano 615. It has a Titan M security module inside here to make sure that all your security is safe. That includes your fingerprint sensor. So taking a look at the rear camera on both of these devices. So it has one camera on the back and then one camera on the front. The rear camera is a 12.2 dual pixel Sony IMX363 
sensor. So it's a really good, powerful sensor and it should get loads of great images. It has autofocus with dual pixel phase detection, optical and electronic image stabilization, and it's an f1.8 aperture. It will offer you 76 degrees field of view so you can try and get everything in your photograph. Coming around to the front of the top bezel here, you will also find a front facing camera. Front facing camera again is exactly the same on both models. It's an 8 megapixel sensor, f2.0. It has a fixed focus. This offers a little bit wider field of view of 84 degrees, which is really helpful. Video recording, when you come around to the rear, you can take video on your device. So you have 1080p at 30, 60, or 120 frames per second. 720p will get you 30, 60, or 240 frames per second. You can also record in 4K at 30 frames per second. Coming back around to the front camera here, you can record in 1080p, 720p, or 480p at 30 frames per second. So a few different options to change and go through depending on what you want to do and where you want to share it. Both these devices offer stereo speakers. So you've got one front facing here and then one one downward fire in here next to your USB-C which offers that fast charging 18 watts. So both our devices are set up and they're ready to go. Please let me know what you'd like to see from both of these devices. If you'd like to see Android Q, let me know. I will ask Google. I'm pretty sure they will be okay. But I'm looking forward to seeing how well they work in comparison next to each other. There's not too much differences between the two models. So one is the display, slightly a little bit bigger. You've got more pixel density on the 3A. You have a larger battery on the 3A XL by 700 millionth hour which is quite a lot depending on your usage as I am a very heavy social media usage I will tend to use this device more one for my eyesight and one more for that battery camera wise though it's going to be exactly the same I'm looking forward to going testing out the camera and I might go to somewhere different to go and take some photographs for a bit of a change if you do have any questions or any queries drop a comment down below and I'll be more than happy to help I hope you have enjoyed this dual unboxing my first ever one for the channel another first which is really good to see massive thank you goes out to google for sending both these devices thanks always for watching and from me ricky i will see you very soon bye for now